hey y'all welcome back to my channel once again thank you so much for watching and if you haven't done so already don't forget to hit the subscribe button so this week's weekly vlog will be a how-to it's pretty much for all you crafters out there so i'm a big crafter i'm going to be customizing a paint kit this is something that i offer um part of my business it's a customized paint uh kit for like kids and adults this week is one for kids it's a mermaid thing theme so i'm showing y'all i showed y'all the canvases and these are the aprons the kid aprons i ordered everything from amazon everything didn't come together um the brushes did the brushes the canvases and the um what is it the little paint what i don't know what you call it like paint tray or whatever those came together so i like that because a lot of times i have a hard time finding brushes so i need to find some brushes that are in better color because those was blue but hey i didn't i wasn't trying to do all the matchy matchy and the first thing i did was measure to make sure that the canvases fit the easel because i purchased the canvases separately these these kid canvases are eight by ten so i'm showing y'all the picture on my silhouette cameo well on my laptop so now i'm cutting it out um this is htv vinyl which is heat transfer vinyl so therefore i mirrored the image to cut out on my cameo silhouette and so i'm just trying to show y'all this is a real real detailed video for you craft because i feel like it's not enough detailed videos for things like this so there you go you're welcome so i'm just showing you how it could out i kind of like to watch it because it's like so cool how all of this really works so once again i'm showing you this is the boy mermaid on my laptop all the settings are to the right and it tells you how long it's gonna take to cut it out it says like four minutes and something i think it's like four and a half minutes total um because it's already started it's already cutting i'm just showing y'all what it looks like on my uh laptop this is pretty much the software like i said it's the silhouette cameo you see it's already been cutting it out and once again it's, it is mirrored because we're going to use heat to put the image on the canvas so i'm just giving you more details like i said i feel like a lot of people like when i was starting out doing stuff it just wasn't a lot of details for me so i want to make it easier for somebody at least so this is what it looks like it's all black so i'm gonna peel it um peel all of the vinyl um out which the term is a lot of people use is weeding weeding the vinyl out so that's what i'm gonna do um it it is tedious y'all i will say that also excuse my voice like this texas weather it's been hot it's been cold it's been hot it's been cold so bear with me i'm not even sick though that's the thing so anyways uh weeding is very very tedious i will say that um i've been doing this for about i can't do the math but since like 2017 and it's tedious um so i'm used to it and if i have the option to pick the image to be honest i try not to get a lot of definition and details because there's more weeding i have to do but i always check to double to make sure that the Im the image can fit on the canvas so that's what i'm doing now just before i finish weeding everything i just think it's smarter even though i do did measure it before even printing it out but i love to just double check like it never hurts to double check so i'm still weeding as you can see um this is the boy mermaid um it's a boy and a girl i couldn't find because this is for obviously like a, a black girl party i could not find like an african-american looking boy but i'm like y'all are painting so make him a black boy you know i'm gonna get you have brown paint or whatever and this was like one of the easier images that i can find but i, I think they really turned out well anyways i'm just doing the hair like i'm really giving y'all the details I'm, and i actually speeded this up a lot that way it, it's not so long but like i said i prefer to give you like the details that i didn't have when i was trying to figure these things out you know so yeah i'm doing the eyes um, i gotta do like the eyes the ears um his is more tedious because the actual mermaid like scales or whatever are all individual and like i said y'all i sped this up i don't know if i'm gonna show you every single pull because i just can't do it and once again if y'all know me if y'all watch my videos you ought to be proud because your girl is using her tripod i mean i feel like i couldn't even have shot this shot this if i wasn't able to use my tripod because i need to use both of my hands but thank you god i'm like i could not do all of that y'all like i was not about to show y'all but i am showing y'all one by one i do i will say i don't like to film because i feel like it just slows me down you know you're trying to work you're trying to get it done 
um because when you're filming it's just like you have to move the angles you have to make sure it's looking good and then you see how i'm peeling these and i'm putting them on the table like i need to put that in the trash you know because they're so small so i will say filming it kind of just like extra work because you're trying to make it look good you're trying to do your work you don't want to mess up trying to make it simple you're trying to explain but anyways i just hope y'all enjoy this so here is the boys um the image the the merman as you would say so once again i'm just making sure that it fits the canvas and this is an eight by ten so i believe the image is like a seven and a half by nine like you see how i make it so close i wanted to take up as much as the canvas of the canvas as possible and y'all see i got the black girl magic mermaid like come on once again you see it is mirrored so therefore it's the image will appear like backwards obviously so that once i put it in once i heat press it on the canvas then it would be right so i'm just showing y'all again i'm pulling everything off i'm gonna see if i can kind of just speed this one up because it's just taking so much time so yeah i did go ahead and just speed this process up because i did show you already on the board but i like i said i like as much detail as possible especially when i'm learning and trying to figure out how to do things but this is the girl the only thing that i don't like um about the girl you see i'm measuring it once again just to double check to make sure it fits my canvas that the hair i wish i could have found the image that where they could paint the hair black but i honestly think it's super cute you know anyways um but the fro is not paintable if that's even a word um because it wasn't like an outline on it so i'm just peeling the face and then like the little starfish in the hair i thought that was the cutest thing ever but yeah i'm just showing y'all all that this one i won't go into super detail but once again i just want to show y'all the process of weeding it is very tedious if you are not a crafter and if you do not have patience i do not recommend this i'm going to be completely honest but i personally enjoy it because it's just being creative and yeah i mean you know like that's what that's what i am that's what i do and I, what i like about this one is you see how the scales or whatever it was just boom it wasn't the individual so i'm like yes lord thank you and jesus and not as much so I'm showing y'all once again just to measure to make sure that it fits on the canvas so yeah super super cute not super i would say super easy like i said it's just tedious and i'm just showing y'all this is how they'll look um this is how they look both on the canvases which i think is super cute obviously you can tell the boy is like not black but he could be like i said just paint him brown anyway so i'm just showing y'all how i press them on so what i do is y'all limit i have such a limit to workspace it's not even funny as you see i'm literally on the back of the couch but like my table is right behind me which i have so much stuff on it and my actual bigger heat press it's like the only area that i have y'all to use my portable heat press but anyways so i just put like one piece of um what is it heat tape or whatever it's like specifically for heat that way it doesn't burn so i put that on there because the canvas well if i could get it right they don't move supposedly once you put it on there so i'm starting out at 320 degrees for one is i've never used this brand of canvas before so i didn't want to burn it starting out i have no idea like how thick or thin so i'm starting at, at a lower heat temperature just for those purposes i'm trying to stick with a specific brand of canvases that way i know the temperatures from the top so i do it for 30 seconds because i know it takes a while and what i do i once i do that i pull it up as you see it is smoking but it still takes a uh, quite a bit of heat to get the image on the canvas and i'm getting my nails and i'm just pressing it down just in case but i need to find my little squeegee and my scraper y'all but i don't know where it's at and it's actually really hot so i don't even know why i'm doing it with my nails but anyway so i do that and then i press it again like i said i'm doing 320 right now i'm gonna up the heat but i just don't want to automatically burn it that's one thing you have to learn when you're doing anything like putting images and using heat you have to play around with it first you have to always have extras maybe just in case you do i mean i've done this plenty of times so i didn't have extras i just knew how to start out so this is the boy image and i'm doing the same exact thing um i always do these on a cool peel that's why i went straight to the boy image because i don't peel it when it's hot so this is the heat tape um as you see i just use one i don't even use a lot because most of the time like i said the image stay in place so i'm using it on 320 as well just for now and the first two times i will do it with 
like 30 seconds or whatever now it really depends you can pretty much you like you can put the heat on it i always do between two to four times just to make sure that the image is stuck on there and also i only recommend using a portable heat press you see i'm pressing again with my nails y'all like where is my squeegee um because you can't press it with the machine because you need something flat so that's why i'm so happy i have this portable um heat press is actually by um it is a uh, cricket actually um so i'm doing it with my nails just to make sure and then here i am going back over it and this time i don't know i'm trying to see i may have upped it because i end up no it's still on 320 i can't remember if this is the first or second time y'all but i believe it's the second time and once again i'm going in 30 seconds um putting it down it will sting but it's not burning at all i'm uh trying to press it down again but you see it's really really hot y'all it's actually super hot and i never wait so i'm going back in again just to make sure like like i said this can be a very tedious process but i prefer it to come out right so this is me finally finding my squeegee and that makes it so much better i don't know why y'all do this to myself like you see how simple that is and how smooth that is it makes it so much easier so hopefully it peels off yeah so now it's peeling off so i actually did that three times like i said you never know you have to play around with the image or whatever so i'm peeling it off and this is a cool peel i let it cool down a little bit um that way you have less things like not sticking on the canvas so look how good they turn out like super cute so fun it made me want to paint but you see like when i'm pointing down there it was like a little bit of it peeling off so i do a last press and this time i did you see it's 355 so i up it to 355 for the last press just to make sure everything is on there you see it's smoking but it's fine then i go back in one last time with the squeegee on top of the tel the teflon paper so because i don't have anything smooth on top of it and voila super super smooth I lo it's hot <laughs> but i love to rub my hands across it just to make sure nothing is sticking up so i'm back to the girl um the mermaid um canvas and i'm pulling it out slow though i will say the hair kind of kept coming up a little bit like when i was pulling it but it was super good you see how it kind of came off smoother and quicker um, I'm peeling it off and you see some of the little scales was kind of coming up a little bit and then as you see to the left the little bit of the tail was coming up so I'm going to press it really really quick for this is on the 355 just because I didn't want to keep peeling it up so I'm pressing it one more time with the um, plastic or whatever and then you see I'm getting my squeegee pressing down pressing down sometimes all you need is like another little heat press or whatever just to make sure that everything is really down like i just would say just be careful when pulling it up because you don't want to pull it up and make it come off and you see how it still didn't come down to that left right there but i peeled everything else off and a little bit of the hand kind of had came up as you can see and one of those skills at the bottom but it's, it's like so it's such a quick and easy fix so what you do is make sure that everything is down um and then you put the teflon paper back on there and then this is like the last press so you press it again and i'm it's i'm using 355 of the heat temperature and i only press it for a few seconds like i don't even press it long because i don't want to burn this canvas canvases can burn i haven't burnt one but you don't want it to turn yellow you don't want it to stain or anything so like i said it's a lot of trial and error um or trying it out and now voila everything is down i wiped i swiped it rubbed it and boom super smooth super easy y'all so so cute so next i feel like i've been talking forever but anyways next i am customizing party napkins i got these from the dollar tree for dollar 25 it comes in a pack of 30 and the canvas set is a is a amount amount it's for 12 jesus christ these are the cups uh i got 10 purple ones i'm trying to show you i don't know why i like so much 10 purple and 10 blue like i said i'm only using six and six it's six boys and it's six girls uh these were dollar 25 as well everything's got it from the dollar tree i'm just showing y'all how i kind of do like rinky dink measuring i just take the cup and like measure so i know how big to make the image and the logos for the cup so i'm like okay this is like three squares long two squares wide whatever whatever so that's how i do my measuring and honestly it works well and i'm gonna make the logo for the napkin about the same size as that logo that's on the sticker like they're saying 30 or whatever 
so I just want to kind of make it the same it's going to be a little bigger but see how I'm measuring it so I'm cutting out the saying for the napkins I had to mirror it because I'm going to use heat as well it says it's taking about like nine minutes to do because it's words so I'm just showing y'all how it looks being cut out once again this is a HTV vinyl which is the heat transfer vinyl and it's a whole page so the whole uh mat is full and it's I think how many uh three six I think it used it that it was six uh images so this is the napkin i'm just showing y'all inside out just a paper napkin um once again i'm using the back of the couch but it is what it is i'm getting it done now this is what it looks like i had to you see i had to weed it i didn't do all that i just because I, I literally weeded it the same way i did the the mermaid and the merman um but i will say if i was doing these napkins like i've had before for a party and they were actually using them for dinner or something i would for one have some type of like silicone paper or parchment paper down um to make it more sanitary and also i would have on gloves because people would like probably use these napkins for their mouth or their hands but these are the napkins they're using for the paint to put their paint on you know like to wipe their brush so it is on 355 i love the napkins because it's like so quick it's 355 and i I think i did between 20 and 30 seconds i do like to do a hot peel on these because the vinyl stick see it's super hot the vinyl sticks so well to the napkin that it does like it's such a it's such a smooth peel the only thing i do i slow peel it because i don't want to tear the napkin it's a paper napkin you know so i'm doing it really really slow just so i don't tear the napkin but it's super quick super super easy and i love how it makes it look i love this is like one of my favorite parts of the package or whatever super cute super smooth i love rubbing my hands across it just to double check and make sure see i'm opening it up nothing sticks nothing bleed through anything like that and i want to show y'all once again like i said i've sped it up and stuff but i just want to be super i just want to explain everything and i want you to understand it so i'm putting it on there once again it's the same way it's just, this is heat transfer vinyl so i'm putting it on there and it's on 355 it's really really hard to burn napkins so it's it's easy you can see it smoking but unless it's white maybe we can like burn it obviously but super super easy um this is one of the easiest things you can add to like your business or anything like that so once again i'm taking it up i'm trying to cool it off a little bit only because it's just hot as you see i'm shaking it and i'll just pull it right off sometimes you can go back over it once you peel it i may do that on here i can't remember um once you peel it you can go back over it um most of the time it's not necessary because it does stick but in case you just want the napkin extra crisp or if you see a little bit of a wrinkle in any of the letters um on the saying but yeah super simple and super easy so next i'm showing you the sayings for the cups they were smaller so i was able to put three six nine twelve per page which makes me happy it's but it takes long you see it's 11 minutes y'all um it takes longer because it's more but the image is smaller because it's on the cup so it only took one page this is a pink but this is the oracle uh vinyl which is like sticker vinyl i think it's like oracle 651 or something but this is what i call sticker vinyl if you ever hear me saying sticker vinyl that's what it is so i didn't mirror this because it's a sticker once you peel and i'm just showing you the whole thing see once you peel it it's gonna be upright because it is a sticker so i'm trying to show y'all really quickly because this is like i said tedious as well you peel it off like that that's one thing you have to make sure when you're doing anything or getting into the vinyl world the different types of vinyl that you're going to use this is opposite once again i did not mirror this i did it regularly because this is a sticker vinyl and you're going to be using um transfer tape to transfer the sticker onto the cups so i didn't do all that tedious reading in between like i had already did a few for you but once again it's the same way you pull the middle out you pull whatever out to make sure the image looks right and i'm trying to do this and like make sure y'all can see me on camera it is way harder than it looks i'm telling y'all so i'm just measuring it y'all i do so much rinky dink measuring but guess what it works for me it works for your girl so i'm measuring um just pretty much just trying to see how much the image so i can cut it out so that's that i'm gonna show you how i put the tape on there and everything y'all i'm really giving y'all some free game like come on so i'm doing some other ones that way i can at least do two and show y'all or three <laughs> um i'm just doing the measurements and then i'm just cutting the end off and i can always use that 
um, transfer tape for another project. So never throw away extra scraps. You always need those. So I peel it off in the corner or whatever. I love using the glass table because the, it helps me stick it to the table and it makes it stay. So I like doing that. It helps me just do the squeegee method because obviously the clear part is stuck to the table. So boom, that's the first one. And then I'm going to do the second one. Um, a lot of this stuff like that I use is on Amazon. The squeegee is on Amazon. This transfer tape is on Amazon. Um yeah so you see how it's more stuck this time so i love that because it helps me squeeze it down um it's gonna be hard for me to pick it up because it's see it's stuck which i love that i love using this table this is not a craft table y'all this is literally the freaking like supposedly fancy living room table but oh well so um i peel it off and i just found the good side that i like with less cracks or smears or whatever you know the cups are like always have something on them or whatever so i put it on there super super simple and i just rub it in with my hands once again if these were cups that they were using to drink out of i would have on gloves you know i would just handle it with a little bit caution because you know you just want to be as safe as possible you don't have as many germs so i would have on gloves doing this just you know to make it more sanitary or whatever or sanitized whatever so i'm just peeling it off and i spent this up so much y'all just i don't want it to be like a forever video but also once again i want y'all to see the details i want y'all to, to see everything so i'm peeling it off i do it's, it's like most of the time it'll stick right but i always be kind of careful because you can always like if you pull it too quick you can pull off a letter you can pull off something so just always be careful and sometimes that transfer tape really sticks to the object that you're putting it on i don't know why but sometimes it really really sticks a lot so i'm going to show you on the blue one it should peel all the way just peel off so quick so easy that's what i love it's like satis so satisfying just watching it come off so easily so i'm putting it on the blue cup as well doing the same process the same everything i'm pushing it down with my hands sometimes i use a squeegee too but i like to do stuff with my hands it's just quicker less step and picking it up but you see i'm just kind of finishing off using the squeegee making sure everything is down as good as possible it literally takes no time like it's i just peel it off right after i am taking my time as you can see just to make sure that all the letters are in place and everything is stuck on um you see how to go back in scrape that down because it was coming up um this is actually the you do have two different types of oracle vinyl which is sticker vinyl you have permanent and you have removable this is permanent um so it should stay on but they're gonna throw them away anyway so you know it's just more of like just for the party but it is permanent vinyl so it should really stick on unless you literally keep trying to scrape it off like keep 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 so yeah is there there are different so if you're ordering it for getting it from anywhere make sure you read or oracle removable or permanent now once again i'm tired y'all okay these are the aprons got them from amazon as you can see as well they're very 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 thin so but they're good for kids when i do the duck party kit they have actually cloth um aprons but kids don't care and they just you know you just need something so they don't get on their clothes so i'm only going to show you one just for the time because it's very simple i'm not even going to show you how i cut it out or anything this is the apron this is the same way as i did the canvases and the napkins it is this is a heat transfer vinyl it's just white literally the same thing mila's mermaid paint party so i'm gonna put it in the center but y'all i i put it all the way down baby to 270 when i tell y'all these aprons will burn i have messed up on so many of these before y'all burn so quick they will melt all the stuff you got so i started out with 270 y'all because these burn so easily so 270 and i did between 30 and 20 seconds i think because they burn up so boom i did that when i ended up putting it up to like the highest i went was 300 uh, degrees but they will burn if you're ever going to do these please buy extra or get something similar just so you can do trial and error because they burn very very easily so here are the aprons all of the colors like how cute and they actually are for ages like three to seven so like they are a good size they look smaller but they're a good size so lastly y'all i am sublimating these these thank you bags this is my first time ever doing this so I'm really, really hoping that this turned out right. I seen this on TikTok. So this is the satin clear enamel. Everybody that I saw, they used the matte clear enamel, but I could not find it. So I'm hoping that's not a big deal. Once again, nobody was detailed with it. So I'm like, Lord, let me just make this right. And it was like no YouTube videos. Like when people were sublimating bags, they literally did not use any type of spray. So I'm like, okay. 
let's try that i don't know why i like to try things when i'm doing something for a client but here we go this is the image i printed out on my laptop it's just two um images side by side and this time i'm using my sublimation printer so you have to make sure you have a sublimation printer you're going to sublimate on a bag obviously you see they print out backwards because once again you're, you're using heat to put them on the back so i just cut obviously cut them down the middle and i'm going to put on the bag i only like the bags dried in 15 minutes maybe i could have left them longer i don't know i don't have the details so i only let them sit out for 15 minutes and it was super dry nothing came off so i'm going to put the bag in the put the bag put the image in the middle of the bag like so and i'm going to put a heat transfer tape on the top of it and the bottom because this is one thing like the paper will move so i kind of do like to secure the sublimation image always because they'll move and you don't want it to smear you don't want it to look like it has a shadow anything like that as you can see y'all i'm using my hands now because i'm just tired of moving this tripod around it's the end of my day but anyway so i'm using my heat press this time but one thing about sublimation you do have to use a really high heat temperature so now it's on 400 degrees as you can see the handles are outside of the heat press because i don't want to burn the handles and i'm showing y'all it has 15 seconds left but i did uh three intervals of 20 so i did it for a full minute i did 20 seconds 20 seconds 20 seconds to make sure um so yeah i'm getting ready to peel it i didn't uh pull it up and check it though i just did 20 seconds 20 seconds 20 seconds because i just don't want the burn and it's easier for me so boom y'all like okay your girl is on to something this is my first time ever doing these and the, the best part about it when it's less ink on the image that means it's sublimating even better um i will say i need to get better i feel like it could have came out just better for me but this is the first time like you see all the little mermaid is just not all that clear so that's my only thing but i think they really really turned out good i'm gonna try some other ones like without like an image because I, I i feel like the name and stuff is pretty good but the mermaid to me is a little fuzzy as you can kind of see but i really do think they turned out super super good y'all like i was so happy and i was so pleased i'm gonna go buy some new bags but anyways it was 15 bags but it was only 12 canvases because it was like some little kids coming to the party and i did add candy and some other things only because i know this client typically these bags would only be uh, to put your canvas in and like a thank you bag you want to add candy and stuff you can but this is just big enough to put your canvas and your easel like in your apron like when you take it home from the party or whatever but they turned out really really good i just want to show y'all everything all together like what it, how it turned out so these are the napkins as you can see i only did a set of 12 because it was a set of 12 so there are the napkins and i i think my favorite is the cups y'all like look how cute and they're little, little water cups and then the canvases all of the canvases are done y'all this is literally like a whole day worth of work probably like eight hours um i did this within a couple of days though because i don't like to have to rush and do everything in one day so this is me just showing you everything in there i got the paint that's included as well the easels the cups the the painting i don't know what you call them the napkins the the canvases the aprons the bags everything so there you have it a whole paint kit customized and designed thank you guys so much for watching i do ship i am in texas if you have any questions just drop them below thank you guys for watching